In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to color grade your images using a neat little trick that I stumbled across the other day. So this is a mixture of using the new neuro filters within Photoshop and also the gradients. So this is the after and this is the before. So you can see there that it's a really, really lovely, subtle way of color grading your images. So let me come back to the very, very start and walk you through the process. So the first thing we want to do is come up to Windows and then we want to come down to Gradients. There we go. So then what you want to do is make sure that you click on these three little lines up here and then select Legacy Gradients. So down here, Legacy Gradients, there we go. And it will load up down the bottom here. If you click on the little arrow, then the folder will open up. You want to come down to Photographic Toning. So there you go, it'll open up there. Mine's opened up twice there because I've loaded it before. So once you've done that, we want to basically copy this. So we're actually going to do a screenshot. So to do that on a Mac, it's Control, Shift and 4, and it will bring up this little crosshair. Just click and then drag over all of them. There we go. So if you're on a PC, then I believe it's Control and Print Screen button. Okay, so now we've done that, let's come back up to our layers and let's just click on this little arrow just to close down the gradients. So we're on our layer now. And from here, we want to duplicate this. So Control Command J, and then we want to right click and convert this to a smart object. Now what we want to do is come up to filter and then we want to select our neuro filters. Once this is loaded up, you want to then go to Color Transfer. So Color Transfer um, will have a, it'll either have this little uh, cloud. If you haven't, if you've got that, then it means you need to download it. Just click on it and it will download. Then just click on the button. Now, how this works is that you can use these pictures here to color grade your images. So it will copy the colors from this image and it will put it over your picture. But what we're going to do is we're going to load up that screenshot. So come to custom and then we're going to come to our little folder here and then just find the screenshot. So you can see there's a screenshot there. Click on use image and it will load up. Now what we want to do is we want to click and drag over a specific box. So let's just select that one there. There we go. So it's loaded up. We want to click on preserve luminance and then just make sure that the output is selected to smart filter. So if we say OK, that will load up. OK, now what we want to do is just come to the blend modes and change it from normal to color. And then what we want to do is adjust the opacity. So you can do this to your liking. So you can uh, have this at 50 percent. You can have it pretty much whatever you want. So let's go with 50% just to start with. Okay, so now if we come to the neuro filters there and double click, this will load this back up. There we go. If we select preserve luminance, so we don't need that anymore. Now what we can do, if you've taken a bigger screenshot than what I have, you will actually be able to move this box around or you can just click again and drag and it will select a different box and what you can then see is the final image with the opacity and the blend mode that we've just selected so it's giving you a live preview and the good thing with this is is that you can go through all these different color grades here and use each one to get a different result it's a really really neat trick you can also select more than one so you can select two there if you want to and have a mixture of the two it's entirely up to you, depending on what you want your image to look like. So let's just select this one here. I quite like that one, so let's load up. And let's press OK. And of course, what we can then do, because we have set it to 50%, is we can adjust this just so that the picture looks how we want it. So I think about there, it's quite nice. So once you've done that, you can then click on the little eye here, and it will show you the before and after. So it's a very, very subtle change. 
but that color grade is really really nice and it's a it's a real unique way of doing it so i hope that's helped and i hope that gives you some time to sit and play with your images and to get some really really unique results and you can do this as many times as you want because we've selected it as a uh, smart filter so we can keep going back and forth keep coming up to the opacity and changing that and just adjusting it to our liking so it's entirely up to you how you want your image to look if you've not already done so then head over to my website togproholidays.com and you can check out the holidays that we've got coming up we've got one in june we're going to finland to photograph the bears in the wild and we are also going to kenya in october which is going to be amazing so we've got some other other trips planned for next year as well so head over to togproholidays.com and you can check out everything on there and get in touch with me if you want some more information take care and i'll see you on the next video